ओके रिकॉर्ड बटन रिकॉर्ड Uh, good morning we are going to start a live case of uh, vernier preparation it's a smile designing case she is a dental student only she is kind enough to give a consent for the live so this uh, so we are going to start we this she has a diastema so there is a space between the central and lateral space between the central space between again central and lateral the slight space between the canine and the lateral second uh, second quadrant so there is uh, we are going to do a venue from canine to canine okay so there is a one one two three four space is present only one space is not present in between uh, first quadrant lateral incisor and a uh, canine so still for a better look uh, we will give a venue from canine to canine and a uh, slightly open your mouth yeah and lateral and a lower incisor there is a space between uh, lateral incisor to canine and between all the central incisors and slightly here also it's a slightly chipped off and this she is it's a failed ortho so she has uh, gone for ortho treatment but it was space is again it's re reopened so since it is so that, that's the reason we had uh, she is already opted for ortho and that's the reason for a uh, quick uh, smile designing we opted for a uh, venue okay otherwise ortho is always the first option for to close the space okay so we have done a mock up we have done a mock up with the tooth just to to make her ident understand how the space will be closed okay the canine to canine we did a mock up with the 3d printing and a lower also same way we did a mock up for 3d using a 3d printers okay so this is the mock up we have done so the space she we had educated her the space slightly tooth may look little, little wider in nature but we'll try to close the space and make it as much as possible proper size with by giving an illusion okay otherwise she has a good smile and there not much of uh, gingival visibility is present when she smiles a slight uh, visibility but not much it's not there is not a gummy smile okay so this is all the the case history okay so now we are going to start with the venue preparation for so today we are going to do it in a three parts so first part will be the venue preparation for canine to canine for indirect venues so we are going to do uh, do with the emax or a lithium disilicate so i'm going to first in the first part i'm going to do a preparation to preparation from canine to canine okay and in second part we are going to do a direct veneer for the lower and the third part veneer cementation this way it will go on so this smile designing live session will go uh, in a three parts okay so first and a second and a third so it will spread up to one week maybe so till we get a lab uh, uh, process maybe today and next next session maybe on tuesday and the third session maybe on thursday okay so this this is our plan so we'll see hope for the we'll stick to this plan because we we'll, there are so many things are dependent 
so lab lab work also depend we're depending upon the lab work as well we have to try it before whether it is perfectly matching all these things so but tentatively we are our schedule is like this so today we are going to do with a uh, veneer preparation for anterior tooth so first for uh, uh, this is there is two terms there is veneer and a laminate so veneer is not, there is the both are technically almost similar uh, even uh, preparation wise also both are similar but only the differences between veneer and a laminate is veneer if you want to change the color of the tooth there you require more preparation okay when laminate is you are not changing the color so you are just giving one uh, top of it a layer on top of it so the tooth looks more beautiful you are not look like this case so she has a nice color the color is not much difference so only we have to space the uh, close the spaces so there we require a laminate the preparations will be very very minimal it is a minimal invasive dentistry almost a uh, negligible preparation we are going to do it okay so first to control the preparation what i am going to do is i will mark this tooth with the graphite pencil okay so that so i'll get an idea that how much i am going to cut okay i'll mark this canine to canine with the graphite pencil okay all the teeth i will mark slightly i can feel the cement of orthodontics used to bond the bracket okay this is rough see it's a rough here this is very uh, technique sensitive this preparation you have to hard uh, you have to have a complete control over your uh, within your hand piece okay it should be because it's what happens otherwise what, if it is little more if you cut also it is irreversible okay tooth will become sensitive okay so this is the marking which we have done using a pencil okay now we start from the so now how my preparation will be so the preparation will start from from here i'll give a, i most of the time in uh, conservative dentistry we don't give a sub gingival margin we give a equi gingival margin or sometimes supra gingival so i'm going to give a equi gingival margin my preparation will go from here and go till here okay it's like you're just crossing other if it is only veneer there is no space your preparation ends at the uh contact point it should not cross the contact point you should not break the contact point here there is no contact point so we'll have to we are creating the contact point so it has to cross the proximal side there is only the difference between the preparation for a, a diastema closure and preparation for a normal laminate <coughs> veneer in a normal laminate or veneer where there is a tight contact there is no space in between you should not break the contact okay here we are going to because there is no contact at all we have to go so that the tooth the laminate will wrap the tooth okay so that they can close the space in between so contact they can create okay that is the the main key in uh, diastema closure we using a indirect veneer okay so the, uh, we have a certain markers or a depth cutting burrs okay this is there are two depth cutting burrs are there so one is you can see here i don't know whether it is visible or not okay it's seen there is one has a very minimal depth other one has a more so this is for a laminate or a less cutting okay this is for a veneer where you want to cut more so i'm going to use the one which is we're going to cut it very less so to uh, manage the depth okay so how to use this depth cutting burrs so this is the tooth surface okay open open yeah this is the tooth surface so you are doing it not if you do like this what happens it's going to become flat so what you do is slightly keep like this in two plane always you have heard that tooth preparation occurs in a two plane so it is never be in a one plane so one plane and a two plane your depth cutting also like this one and two okay so this is how we give a depth cutting rule so it will never be in a one plane is always in a two plane Okay, so one and two. Okay, so I'll just show. Okay, one. 
Barclay. You can see that the graphite marking has gone. Okay, like this and like this. Okay, so now I have to just join this groove. Don't make it very deep so that the while making uh, correcting the tooth structure will go on. Don't give a very very depth cutting groove, should not be very very deep. It has to be little less. One, two. Now, with all the teeth, I'll just do a depth cutting. Cool. Okay, everywhere I'm doing, you reducing the I'm going to start reducing the tooth structure okay so we'll start from here start from central incisor to everywhere okay so I'm using a you can see the word now so this is tapered fish I'm do, so tapered bird and which has a nice uh, shoulder okay I'll start using the okay if it is any discomfort let me know because the water comes up now. Slowly I'll start with it. Okay, slowly start with it. Slowly I'll start with it. Like this, like this, like this. Like this. See, I'm connecting all the grooves. Can you see that? Like this and like this. Okay, cutting very minimally. Okay, so you should cut very. You have to keep a support on your uh, on the patient arm. Okay, cut slowly. You reduce. Okay, slowly. Always in two planes. Go according to the two structure. So now from here I'll pass to proximal side. Can you see that? I'm just going to the other side. Okay, from here. So first I'll make this grooves together, then I will start with the uh, margin. Okay. Then I'll start making the margin equilibrium level. Keep your bird exactly parallel to the long as the tooth so that you have a required taper you get. There should not be any undercut. Okay, keep slowly. Don't reduce too much so that you get a little chance for the polishing also. Okay, if you cut more and while polishing, your tooth structure will be less. So now I am just crossing the proximal set. I didn't make any uh, palatal uh, finish line. Okay. I'll do with the every tooth. Finish first labial side and then come to the proximal side. And lapping, inside the lapping. Same way here. Like connect the groove like this in one place. And, and the second plane now. Then pass 
Graphite marks are gone now. Okay, this is where you get a, so whether every area is touched or not, whether it is uh, some area it is left or not, that is how we, the, the marking will tell you. If it is not touch that area, graphite marking will not be there. Uh, it will be there. Thing is, you have to understand where you are given a marking. 
otherwise Nazir has to be so they should understand okay Can I almost margin that? Done. Okay. So now that can be a so like a label, uh, sorry, proximally you make a ring, and there should not be any undercut. Then so what happens? If any undercut, the vernier will not go. Okay. There is a so you nicely the section should have a nice uh, contouring. And now I'm going to do a margin for the tracker. Okay, do that. Do the margin for the tracker. Size and lack. Okay, this is the tricky. Okay, so because you will have to start from the you have to see with the uh, indirect vision. Slightly close. Uh, Things is clear. See? Yeah. So what happens here? It becomes very difficult because water comes on the uh, mirror. Okay, it becomes very very difficult. 
this will start from the uh, canine. Okay. So I'm going to give a from here to here inside the lap. Okay. So if you able to the lap person will be able to make the understand the uh, margin drain which you are given. Okay. For the Always you wipe the surface with the water in between. So much of inside the surface, slightly. Some people what they do is they make a groove with your own. Okay, and reduce it. Okay, like that. Okay, so I don't make the grooves as such because this is already I'm not going to make it too bigger. Okay, so it is it is not required. So just have to cross the inside the line. That's it. I'm going to reduce slightly inside the line of all the grooves so that they have enough surface for the. Enough area for the uh, venue. Okay, preparation, uh, manufacturing. Right here, yeah, right here. So you can there are two ways. You can just with the like this. You can make a one, two, three, and then join that. Okay. This is also one way, one way of doing it. With the, even depth cutting grooves also can be used. Just making it straight. Okay, I'm making it straight. And here the sharp angle I'll slightly blunt it. Okay. So that when it won't get a uh, high, uh, the area where it may not get stressed. Okay. Slightly blunt it. Not too much light, so that they can recreate. <laughs> it is done. Again, we'll come to the inside the lapping. All the tools. So and I put the very uh, very thin bus, okay. So that what happens? So so I can get an idea that where exactly my preparation should end, singularly. Increase the depth and all later. First, I should get an idea that where my preparation should be. I'll take a little uh, other bus. Slightly pronounce the margin. Okay, so that because what happens if you don't pronounce the margin properly, so lab uh, 
the lab person don't understand only where to end the venier. Okay, they should be able to understand where exactly to end the venier on the lingual. When you cut proximally, so now there is two lines. You now from the inside, there is one inside the lap and there is a slightly wrapping from the uh, palatal side. So this, this, this. So there will be like a L like, L, L shape. One, like, like this, like this. Okay? Like, like this, like this. Okay? Some people just don't go lingually at all. Okay, just add it at the proximal. Just add it here. Just end it here. So for a for a better retention purpose, we just end it little uh, proximal. Okay. Slightly I'm ending it little proximal. Like this. Not too so much, slightly proximal. So that it just wrap the tooth, just, but it should not go inside the lingual side, just wrap the lingual foot. Okay? Like how you, okay, give, it, it should be not too much. So what you can do is you can before finishing you can go for a even not even a, use your micro motor burst substance because if you feel that uh, your uh, micro, you can use the micro 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 motor burst so that water won't be there so that you can finish very nicely. Okay, micro motor uh, can be connected. Okay, so use the same bus in a micro motor, not a rotor. Just connect, okay?
See, it's almost uh, um, half an hour to 45 minutes. Almost 6 teeth are done. Okay, it doesn't take much time. 40 minutes it's been, we have started around 11.20 or 11.25. Okay, so I'll use, uh, there is a connector to connect the air rotor burst to the uh, uh, micro motor. Okay, use the okay, air rotable. Okay, to finish. So, so that there is more. Now just to see that margin everywhere. Using that. Okay, now nicely you can see the little bit. Look, look, and fly it with the margin. So you have, there's no water, right? So that you can see where exactly any undercut or anything rough surface. So this is always better to finish with the micro motor okay, before going for a finishing bar. So I always I prefer using a micro motor bar. Even any indirect actuation, inlay, onlay, everywhere I prefer using micro motor bar before going for a finishing. So that I can have a better visualization. Because it's all very thin preparation. There should not be any excess cutting or a less cutting. It has to be very very precise. So I'm correcting the margin and making it very uh, equal and uniform margin. properly tapered as well. My preparation is always on my enamel. Okay, she doesn't have any sensitivity. Means that its preparation is on enamel. If it is in a dentin, there is a sensitivity. If it is closed, there will be easy. It does not have any sensitivity. Means my, my preparation is on enamel. Always it should be on an enamel. And one more thing you can always uh, check it. Uh, you have to take a putty index okay, before pre preparation and cut the putty index and see whether your preparation is uh, uniformly done or not. So we can do that method as well. You can just keep a putty index and if possible I will show you before uh, uh, doing it. I will just check it out. If it is possible I will show you before cementation my cutting with the putty index.
can understand that how much is the thickness of your preparation. Whether your preparation is equal or you require more preparation, all this thing you can understand. And remove all the sharp angles. Okay, there should not be any sharp angle. Otherwise, what happens? That acts as a stress point and veneer may chip off. Because these veneers are very small. Okay, in nature, very very fragile. They are all made up of glass particles. Okay, they are all made up of very. So it should be very very careful. Okay. All the sharp angles and reducing it. I'll refine the inside the lapping area. I'll, uh, while doing a scan, I'll show you that how the how defined will be the proximal side or a lingual side. Last stage, finish it. Okay, with the finishing bar. The yellow band bar, a very fine finishing bar. Okay. Just finish it, smooth on it. From canine to canine. That's it. Okay, that is the end of a preparation. Open. Then I'll show you how to scan. Now this is about the preparation. Okay. So. Very thin margin. Okay. 
hardly I have reduced the two structure very 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 minimal okay this is the margin from here it will be more appreciable when you do a uh, scan so we are going to scan it out okay scan the we have a scanner okay digital scanner okay for a more precise uh, uh, impression we will take a digital impression using a scanner okay I have, I have Helio 600, the scanner. So, so that is a uh, new scanner, okay, from 80th. It's uh, marketed by Buricam in India, okay. So this we're going to scan, okay. Things now. Okay. We are going to. We are getting ready with the scanner. We are getting ready with the scanner. We are going to scan it out, whether it is, we will just see. Directly down, click is clear. To scan. Uh, scanner is ready now. We're going to scan and show. Okay, let us. Uh,
show the scanner now. Okay. Uh -huh. So it has to be dry, the area has to be dry. Okay. You can see hopefully with the uh, you know, YouTube open. So I'm going to scan the areas starting from all from posterior. Okay.
This all will be cleaned, okay? That excess and everything will be clean and you refine it.
Sensor edge, I'll have to re-scan, okay?
if any changes, we can do it again. We take the two minutes, so it should be done. So, so now after the scan, it will go to the lab, we will send it, we will mail it to the lab, then uh, after, after mailing, they will do a preparation, they will make a model, uh, they will do it with the ExoCAD software, they, they, before uh, they, they make a model, when your model is ready and design it properly, they, first they take a 3D printing of this uh, file, on that 3D printing, uh, the model, they will do the build up and then they will send. Before that, before they will send me the uh, design, they are going to send the design to me, so I have, should approve. So, to see my all, see all my margins, where exactly they are designing is exactly up to my margins. Is there any shortcomings in the margins, so that I can tell them that my margin is here, you are uh, not going up to the margin or something. So, I will I'll give them my instructions, then after, after my instructions, instructions they will start, start uh, Milling it, it are preparing the models. Once it is prepared, it will be ready for the uh, delivery or it will be ready for the uh, insertion. insertion. Okay. So, so this, this the process of uh, printing a 3D model, uh, designing, it will take one or two, day, two to three, three days, days depending upon the workload on the lab. After, after that, that, my, uh, my uh, approval, then, then any corrections, then, then they will send the final uh, product, product okay. final venue. That, that will be cemented. The cementation process also is not like same as uh, normal zirconia grounds. It is they are different, slightly different. It has to be surface treated, both the tooth as well as the vanier surface. So that will be the third part: how to cement the vanier. Okay. So next next session will be on direct vanier. Lower is the smaller gaps. So we thought of going for a direct veneer instead of going for an indirect veneer. Okay. So using a composite, I'm going to do the uh, close the diastema. So, so this case, so, so it's, it's a combination of direct and indirect veneers, all six, uh, six direct and six indirect. So this, this is a combination. So we'll we will have a nice uh, idea that both things can be done. How? Okay, this is the the final one. Okay. Check it out. Okay. Okay. Finish it. This, this is now ready, ready for, for the to send. send. If, if I want, want to take some photographs for a shape selection, I can I have some photographs. photographs. Okay. So, so if you want to take some photographs or anything, you can take the photographs. Okay. Uh, then then if, I, if I want to send, send any uh, voice, voice memo, memo, so, so I can send. send. Like I can tell the uh, like I can tell that I I, I need I you get, get the general situation. This is actually being done by me. So, so show it to me once. Uh, send it to me once the design is ready. So, so I'll let you, and I'll after that only you will start processing the manual. So, so I can send the memo like this. You can tell that I I need you get the venue preparation. So design should be approved by me. So show it to me once. The, send it to me once the design is ready. So I'll approve, and I'll after that only you will start processing the venue. Okay. So, 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 so,
so now we want to mail it to the this is how the process is now temporization and all we can do it uh, once we we'll send it we can get the temporization done if required okay so this is about the today's session okay next we will continue with the next session thank you so much for watching thank you